Next, we're going to check out instrument tracks. Right here, choose instrument track. Now let's choose a stereo one. You can use a mono or a surround one. It's pretty much going to work the same way. You just choose what you need. We'll choose stereo. And here's our instrument track. Now the way these things work is they're a combination of two other track types. A MIDI track and an AUX input. So we did here before, having a MIDI track going into our AUX input track with the soft synth or the virtual instrument plugin. We don't need to do that. This will do it all in one track. So let's move the piano plugin to our instrument track. And now we could go into record, play some MIDI. And we'll hear it all in the same track. This will be easier to see in the edit window. Let's go here. And here's our instrument track. Here's our MIDI input. Again, we can choose the device or the MIDI channel, or just choose all. Here's the MIDI output, which we have set to MIDI Grand, the plugin. Or we can choose these as well if we're using a hardware synth. And here's the audio section. If we were using a hardware synth, we would plug its input here. Maybe it's plugged into input one and two, three or four. But if we're not, and we're just using a soft synth, we'll leave it off. No input. Here's our output, the main output. Again, we can change that. So it's like two track types in one. Here's the MIDI section and the audio section. But over here, it behaves like a MIDI track. If we record, it's not going to record audio. It's going to record MIDI. Check it out. But it's much more convenient than using a MIDI track and an AUX input separately. And again, it has solo and mute, which is for the audio side, right on the channel. So that's an instrument track. 